It's Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Daniel Dubois. Dan, how you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm good, mate. Good. Ready? Just, just seeing you doing a few funky poses for the photographers. Uh, getting more comfortable with that side of things now? Yeah, well, yeah. It's hard to get. Yeah, no. It's part of the game, isn't it? Part of the game. What does it say about you that you're going straight from a fight with someone like Alexander Usyk into a fight with Philip Hergovic, Jarrell Miller sandwiched in between? It's a bit of a murderer's row for you, isn't it? It's great. I love it. It's no more easy, t- no more easy touches, no more easy fights. It's all about, you know, can you do it? Can you prove to yourself that you're the man? And I want to do that. Have you mentally now got over the issues in the Usyk fight, obviously the controversy around the low blow? I think so. I think we've cleared that up. You know, moving on, I've definitely cleared up any issues that were there before. I'm a different man now, just for, yeah, I'm ready for him. And you've got Philip Hergovic this time around. How much of a motivation is it that he is the IBF number one contender? So if you beat him, very likely in your next fight will be for a world title again. Definitely, it's 100%. That's more than more, enough motivation. And um, just to win it, especially just to win. That's what I'm fighting for, to win and to prove that, you know, I'm... Get another world title shot, win the world title again. This is my second crack at it, and um, I feel you know I've just been a short space of time. I've sort of done it. Now I'm getting a rebound, and it feels good. What's it like the mood in the camp now with Don Charles? It's another fight with Don, and as you said, not much of a break from the last one. Yeah, well, it's all good. You know, the mood is great. I've got Kieran Fowler here. You know, different different coaching, different different working with different techniques and stuff. It's all great. New spirit, new new energy, and, and Don as well, having that experience, it's all good. And because of the time when you moved from the McGuigan gym, you're actually in the documentary that's just come out, Stable. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but have you, no, you haven't had a chance to see it. Um, but you come across really well, I think. Very dedicated, humble, quiet. Yeah, you should watch it. <laughs> I will then, maybe, yeah. yeah. The Stable, it's called, yeah? Yeah, Stable, yeah. It's on BBC iPlayer. I'll have a look at that. Um, yeah, good memories. Wherever we've been, we've had good moments, haven't we? I think so. I mean, I, I say we, but yeah, I wasn't there all the time, but yeah, I'll take it. Um, going back to Hergovic, what, what do you make of him as a fighter? I'm sure you got a lot a chance to look at him before this fight was made. What, what are his kind of strengths and weaknesses in your view? Right. He's... Go on. Yeah? Yeah, Oh, right. Uh, about Hergovic. He's a decent fighter. He's, he's a player in the game, so up there, you know, yeah, you've, you've at this level, you know, no one's easy. No one's going to be coming in just to lose. It's, it's a top level and I need to beat him and beat him good. And, you know, take it away from him and go through him like a hot knife through butter. And that's what I have to do. How much did the win over Jarrell Miller mean to you in that, you know, people had questioned your, your heart and your guts because of the Joe Joyce fight and then the Usyk stuff. But you really proved it. You went in the trenches with Jarrell Miller and you kind of beat him at his own game. Yeah, definitely. Um, it was yeah, it was good. That fight was definitely good. That was a test for both of us, and I came through it. And uh, on to the next one now. So um, that these kind of fights make you a better fighter. So it's all great. And just finally, before, yeah, yeah, just finally before I let you go, you obviously went in with Usyk. You dropped him with what you still believe was a yeah. body shot. A lot of people have said, I believe, I believe you, but a lot of people have now said he's weak to the body. Do you think we'll see that more in the Fury fight? Is he weak? Well, we'll see. I hope Fury does it. Whatever happens, I hope Fury wins. Would you advise him target the body? Yeah, whatever. (laughs) Jump on him, mate. Jump on him. Cheers, Dan. 